Okay, we're going to talk about how to fold a bandana. And this is uh, really straightforward, but for some reason, all the stuff you see on the internet are, is really uh, convoluted. It's really a, a simple process. Uh, first, you take a bandana, and I recommend you get the 27 inch ones, those are the larger ones. Uh, now, you notice it's got two color sides it's a colored white side and inside. So what you want to do is turn it diagonally, flatten it out, and then fold it over on itself. With the faded or with the inside out. Okay. Now these don't always line up great on the sides here. That's okay. Uh, I'd like to say yeah, these are always perfectly square, but in truth they're not. Uh, so take it and you fold it up like that. And again, this is a 27 inch bandana, means it's 27 inches from this side to this side. What you do is you then take one side and you fold it up to the center. And then you keep rolling it up. Just keep rolling it up. You get it folded up, roll it over one more time and flatten it out and then flip it over. So you flip it over like that. And then to tie it, you take your hands and you grab it like this to pick it up. Okay? So it's rolled up, half of it showing, and you grab it with your hands like this to pick it up. Now we're gonna now we're going to tie our bandana on our head. We should take your bandana and remember we're holding it with our hands like this. And just lift it up and let it hang. Okay? We don't want to get caught on anything. Let it hang and put it behind you. Don't get it caught on the back of your shirt or anything like that. Let it hang and then just bring it down so it's right over your forehead. And then you gather up these two ends and reach behind here and tie those two ends together into a knot. Okay? Just do a single knot and then double knot it up. That's the first stage. The first thing you should notice is it, this doesn't really look real good, although it works okay. So there's three tails we have to pull on the back of this to get it really smoothed out. The first is, is the obvious center one. I'll turn this way. The obvious center tail is hanging out the center. So what you want to do is just take that tail and put your other hand on your forehead here so it doesn't yank it off. Take the center tail and just pull it straight down. Okay? Straight down. Now there are two side tails that you need to pull. Here's one of them and there's another one on the other side. What you need to do with those, again put your hand on your forehead, take that side tail, pull it down, then pull it straight back all the way to the center. Now notice the difference how this side looks to this side. See this is still kind of fluffed out. But this side is nice and flat. That's because I pulled that side tail. So we're going to take this side, take the side tail, again, put your hand on your forehead so you don't lose the position. Pull it straight down and back. Pull it back toward the center also. If you're comfortable, you can do it like that. Use either hand, pull it back to the center. And turn back to the front. Make sure you're straightened up if you've got a Mandela or something on here, this circle. Uh, make sure it's in the center, uh, positioned like you like. And the last thing I do is I take this little knot at the back and I just push it down. And it just tightens it up. There's a little notch in the back of your head and I just push it down into that notch in the back of your head and it holds it really tight. And there you go, a quick, simple way to tie a bandana. Now it can go over your ears or above your ears, 
that's really up to you however you want to tie it I actually usually get a little bit of my ears in it but uh, I do it both ways depending on how I'm feeling that day uh, but there it is it's a quick simple way to tie a uh, bandana and it it just works great it catches the heat makes you look great if it loosens up you just loosen the knot in the back and retie it and there it is tying a golf bandana so you'll look great on the golf course now a couple of tips for buying a bandana one you want an all cotton bandana do not get one a polyester one or anything is like a cotton polyester mix you want all cotton the reason is the cotton will catch the sweat and uh, keep you dry if you get a polyester one it doesn't absorb the sweat and then it just flows through and it's like not having a bandana on at all uh, the other thing to do is make sure you get the large 27 inch bandanas they make bandanas in all kinds of different sizes uh, if you're a grown man or large man, you know, I'm 6'4", but I don't think my head is that big. Uh, but the 27s make all the difference. Uh, it makes them easy to tie. And one other advantage with the 27s, you know, I mentioned the tail in the back. When you use the longer bandana, that tail covers up your neck and gives you some neck protection on the back from the hot sun. Uh, the smaller bandanas won't do that. Uh, so again, get the 27 inch bandanas and get the uh, all cotton ones. Uh, the other thing to remember when you're buying a bandana is they're really cheap. They run between two and five dollars depending if you're buying them in bulk or uh, what you're buying. If you're paying more than five dollars for a bandana, you're really getting ripped off. Uh, five dollars is really the top. Uh, you should be paying for a bandana and you don't need to buy anything fancy uh, really they're just the plain cheap inexpensive all cotton bandanas work great they look great they work great they wash great they absorb your sweat great uh, they work great you don't need to get get into anything fancy with your bandana really expensive and uh, that's it that's it for tying a bandana <laughs>